Chris has been a regular correspondent on The Daily Show for several years. And this week, she's taking over and she is hosting the show. So Rolling Stone, I'm so excited for her. Rolling Stone called her one of the top 10 comedians you need to know. And I'm glad I know her and you're gonna be glad you know her too. Please welcome my girlfriend, Dulce Slow! <laughs> Sexy, sexy, sexy. These chairs are so rude. <laughs> <laughs> you fit in that chair, girl. Look Only at you. just. Every time I see you look good, the last time I saw you, we were both at the NAACP Image Awards. Mm -hmm. And I and we've known each other a while. And <laughs> this is so funny. I love Dulce. You said that when we first met, you knew we were gonna be friends. Oh, yeah, because you make bad decisions. <laughs> So mind you, it's in the middle of COVID. We're doing Howie Mandel's um, Somebody, yeah, what was it, gala. Guys, his gala. And one, this is in the middle of COVID, and Howie Mandel is a known germaphobe. Yes. So he is losing his mind that he's even in public. Yes. Um, so he's like, you go, you want to say hi? And he's like, huh, huh. And I'm like, great to meet you. You're my hero. I love Bobby's world. Um, <laughs> so he doesn't want to touch anybody or talk to anybody. He's like, you know what? Respect. And so I get there. You're in a boot, right? Yeah, I was in, yeah, I was in a boot on my foot. I broke my so foot. she's in a boot, and not like a fashion boot. She had broken a toe, multiple yeah. toes. Um, her foot was out of commission. And she decided to wear a different boot that she had no business wearing. Uh, it was a high-heeled boot. Yeah, it was. I was like, this don't, this don't make no sense. Friend, a doctor has, put, has prescribed you a shoe that went up to your knee. That's and right. you said, no, no. I will lose this toe put on a stiletto. for comedy. So she put on a stiletto boot, not a flat boot, a stiletto boot. And if you don't know if you've ever been in a stiletto boot, you just, you, you walk with your toes. That's right. And your toe was broken. Yeah. So you were doing the worst thing you could have possibly done to your foot. And I was like, that woman is a friend, is a friend. <laughs> Girl, she is going to sacrifice her foot for comedy. She may never walk again for a five minute set. I get it. Girl. I get it. I twisted both of my ankles hosting a, um, a award show recently. Yeah, you did. Yes, I was so I was, it was the Hollywood Critics Association Awards. Yes. And the show, award show was going great, and I hosted two hours. Mind you, I had to switch shoes in the middle of it because my other shoes were broken. They were speaking to me as I walked, uh -huh. and I was like, I might need to put different shoes on because you know, <laughs> rainbow shoes can only last so long. <laughs> and my stylist had brought me different shoes, and yeah. I was like, I'm out here. I'm doing my best life. I'm hosting. I'm cute. Everyone in the room is married, so it was a waste of time. Uh -huh. And <laughs> I go to, show's over, I say good night, and I go to go down the stairs, and I reach for the stage manager's hand, and my ankles did some type of and then I'm on the ground. Girl. And they sent six of the most muscular, I was like, six fight, how big did they tell them I was? Why are there six fight, they look like they've been working out since birth. Why are there so many firefighters here? <laughs> I stood up on my own, but I wanted to be helpless. Uh, <laughs> just say Sloan. But they all had rings on, so there was no point. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love you so much, and this is why I know why you have been on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah for a long time, because you are good. You are Thank so you. good. And I want to say I'm very excited for you because you are guest hosting The Daily Show. This All week, right. yeah. This week, you're going to be the guest host. Now, are you nervous at all? I'm nervous because there might be a writer's strike. Oh, so, that's right. Oh, no. If there's a writer's strike, I, hope I host today. And then, um, <laughs> whenever the writers, I guess, sit back down. OK. Um, so, so you, you at least got today. We're asking for our prayer warriors this evening. Where's my camera? Uh, we are asking. Where is she? Am I here? Hi, aunties of America. Listen, uh, aunties, uncles, or prayer warriors, I need intercessors. Uh, please pray for me that the writers get what they want. Okay. Um, so I can have today. Because <laughs> yeah, because if they strike. I mean, it's, feel, it's like it's feeling very anti-black, it's feeling anti-woman. <laughs> um, but I support the writers because it's like, 
People are getting over. They need to get their money. Because also SAG, at certain times that they've had to strike. But we, um, you, we want them to. We want you to be on. Listen, we, we need some agree. You. We need people to come together in agreement. We coming together um, and agreeing. And we bind this up in the name of Jesus. Okay. Uh, now we gonna bind this up because I'm, I'm, we gonna be watching you tonight. Because if there's a strike, can't is it your show? Not. No, we we don't pay enough money for writers, so we we agree. <laughs> We ain't got no writers. God bless. Okay, all right. So, you, but I, I'm just very excited for you because you, you, you're hosting at least tonight. And yes. I, I, I saw, you know, our friend Roy Wood Jr., your colleague. From yes, the Daily Show. Uncle he, Roy. He, he hosted the White House Correspondents Dinner. Yes. We thought he did really well. He did an How'd amazing you, job. He did an amazing job. Amazing. You, job. Would you do um, uh, the White House Correspondent Dinner? Listen, if you give me a teleprompter, I'll do most anything. Okay. <laughs> all right. I will host in hell if. It's the first floor. <laughs> but I'm I'll... prayed up. If it's the seventh floor of hell, I might be stuck. If the first floor, the elevator goes straight to the lobby. Y'all be fine. Okay, so you would host it. You be a good. You be a good host. And I, I look at you, and you just busy all the time. I'm because so tired. You're not only <laughs> a sexy tired, <laughs> but you're not only you. You know, you're on the Daily Show tonight. You're gonna watch her, but you're the host of the Great American Joke Off. Yes. And your Honey Bee Shaw on the animated series yes. Great North. Yes. And you, now looking at your character, you helped create the look of your character. Yes, so they asked me what she should look like. They asked me if, like input on her character and what her hair should look like. And originally it was like kind of like straight hair with a little curl in. I was like, just give her an afro. And they're like, how do we do that? I'm like, I don't know, make a squiggle. Um, <laughs> look at and, this. But I didn't know, so when we had our first table read, like in the fall of 2019. Yeah. Um, when I came in, I saw what the standee was, and I didn't know that they'd modeled her afro after my afro, and they put hoops on her. So I didn't know that they'd modeled her after me. Yeah, it um, looks exa look, looks exactly like you, girl, your busy self. Thank you. And then I'm still doing stand-up. And you're still doing your stand-up comedy. Yes. So you just work it. And uh, I, I just have to say, I'm not jealous of people too often, but I am jealous of you. Or what? I am jealous of you uh, because you are working with my crush, Trevor Noah. You're doing stand-up with Trevor Noah oh. on the road okay. with Trevor Noah. In my defense, it's only when he comes to Atlanta. OK. Because I'm like, because I grew up in Atlanta, Miami, but mostly Atlanta. And so whenever he goes to Atlanta, I said, I'm gonna come to Atlanta and bother you. He's like, just do a spot. And I was like, oh yeah, I could do that too. <laughs> so when he's in Atlanta, I will come to the show, but I'm not on the road with him on a regular basis. So you I don't in, want you to. But you were in London doing stand up as well. I yeah. did some stand up in London when we were filming the Great American Joke Off. I okay. was in uh, London and um, I got to fly my mom out. Um, and I always have to trick her to put her in first class. Uh, because I have to tell her, oh, the production's paying for it. You can fly first class. It's me. It's always me. <laughs> <laughs> but she won't fly first class unless I lie to her. So oh, she God. hasn't caught on. She's like, so they really paying for it? Yes, ma'am. They are paying for it. It's always me. It's always, always you. Me. She gets her aisle seat. She's in first class. Because I'm like, oh, listen, I work very hard, so my mother never works at Amazon ever again. <laughs> so and this is why you are blessed, Jose. Thank you. I want to say you. to you, I'm so glad that you are here. We're going to be watching you tonight. Uh, Y'all you. can catch Dulce hosting The Daily Show. We're praying this week at 11 on Comedy Central, but definitely be watching her tonight. Watch me tonight. And I did want to thank you. Uh -huh. Do we have time for me to thank her? Would I you... know we were tight. N what, go, what did you want? I wanted to thank you because I started my own lip gloss company it's with nice. um, another comic, Lace Larrabee, and I brought you some. You brought me some lip gloss? Yeah. What's the name of your company? It's called Giggle Gloss. Giggle Gloss. And you brought the lip gloss? I did. Wear it. And I'm so, Sherry, I sent her some, and she has been nice enough to share it with people. Um, this is something, because, you know, as a comic, I'm supposed to sell merch on the road uh, to, again, make sure my mother never works at Amazon ever again. All right. Um, but well, we love it. GiggleGloss.com. And Sherry has been so great and supportive, and thank you for having me here. GiggleGloss.com. So. And tonight, on The Daily Show and Comedy Center,